in this lecture we are going to learn about traveling salesman problem using branch and bound so our main focus will be on branch and bound method for solving traveling salesman problem so let's get started what is traveling salesman problem so if you have let's say a graph g v comma e so you have to find basically a tour or a cycle that covers all the nodes of the graph exactly once and we start from any node and come back to that node so a to b b to c c to d d to e e to g and g to a is a simple cycle here where we start from a reach back to a and this is a traveling salesman cycle okay so our aim is to find the minimum traveling salesman cycle the smallest cost so again the state space diagram what is the maximum possibility that we can have so if we take a small example we have four nodes so let's try to make the state space diagram so don't be afraid of what is state space so basically it tells what are all the possibilities so we start from node 1 okay in, in any cycle so you can start from any node can be taken as the start okay so we take node 1 as the starting point so from node 1 i have three possibilities in the graph okay i can go to node 2 to node 3 node 4 of course we have to look for the edges but in general this is the case from node 1 i can go to node 2 node 3 or node 4 okay then we come to node 2 and if we have already traveled the edge 1 to 2 then what are the possibilities for that cycle to complete i can go from 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 if i take the 2 to 4 okay so what happens then i have only one possibility i have covered node 1 then 2 and 4 so i have only left a node is 3 so this is all the four nodes are covered i start with one go to two from two i go to four from four i go to three and from three i go back to one so this completes the cycle one two four three one so this is a traveling salesman cycle and of course i have to find the minimum cost cycle okay so how many possibilities are there so let's see some so node 14 here so it represents a tour i start from node 1 then i take other node is 3 then from 3 i go to node 4 from 4 i go to 2 and then back to 1 okay so this is the tour then node 15 represents i start from node 1 i1 is 4 which means i go to node 4 i2 is 2 which means from 4 i go to 2 i3 is 3 which means from 2 i go to 3 and then of course you have to go back to 1 so if the nodes are numbered from 1 to n and c i j is the cost of edge i j okay c i j is infinity if i comma j is not an edge and we have n nodes okay so let's see without loss of generality we can assume every two starts at and ends at node one okay so in a cycle of course everything is symmetric you can take any one as the starting point but then you have to reach the same node again so that tour can be represented by node one then pi and coming back to one what is pi pi is a permutations of the node from two three four five six till n node n so this permutations how many possibilities are there if we have n minus 1 nodes here from 2 till n so n minus 1 possibilities and if we have a permutation so we have n minus 1 factorial permutations are there but that size can be reduced because not all of these permutations like they are edges okay so 1 i1 i2 i3 till i n minus 1 then 1 this will be the 
this is the permutation and this is valid permutation only if ij comma ij plus 1 belongs to an edge so all these should belong to an edge then new then only you can have a valid tour okay so in branch and bound what we do so of course we saw that okay you search all the space and then you will have a huge cost so what happens if we try out all the n minus 1 possibilities so that is there and then you have to check so that algorithm will take o of n square to to the power of n possibilities why so because n minus 1 factorials were there and that n minus 1 factorial is bigger than that 2 to the power of n and now when you have got one tour if i say like this a permutation is given then to check if it is a valid tour so again it will require you time of n square okay so if i've given you this tour then you have to check in the adjacency matrix so i have to check okay so for 3 to 4 is it present 4 to 2 is it an edge 2 to 1 is it an edge okay so this we have to check so this algorithm will take n square 2 to the power of n time okay so you should understand n minus 1 factorial is greater than 2 to the power of n minus 1 so why will that be true so n into n minus 1 okay n minus 2 till we go to 2 and then 1 so each of these numbers of course after 2 so they are greater than 2 so this n minus 1 factorial is of course greater than 2 to the power of n minus 1 and then what happens when we have got a sequence then you have to check from the adjacency matrix okay so moving forward now what we do we say that okay only we will check for all the valid permutations where it belongs to an edge now in branch and bound we were talking so we try to reduce those search space okay so this was the search space that there were n is equal to four nodes so in the first from node one we had all the three possibilities if i have covered one node then i have two possibilities left and so on so this is a permutation tree where we have n minus one n is four so three factorial so six possibilities are there in this tree so what you need to do is that in branch and bound we try to reduce our search space so i don't want to search in all the spaces here all the leaves all the branches but what i try when i come here i try to find so i want to minimize the cost of the traveling salesman cycle so what i do i to try to find out I am here what is the lower bound of my traveling salesman cycle okay so I am at I have not traveled any node I am starting at node 1 I try to estimate the lower bound of traveling salesman cycle let's say it is 25 initial estimate lower bound it can never be lower than that okay so I get an estimate of lower bound it is 25 for my graph then what I do now I have in a four node graph let's say i have possibilities i can go to node two three and four again somehow i try to for all these branchings i try to calculate the lower bound of the tsp let's say i get somehow by calculation here it's 28 32 55 so now this tells that lower bound after selecting this edge it is 55 if you take choose this edge you will get a minimum lower bound of 55 here i will get a minimum lower bound of 32 here by going from 1 to 2 your lower bound will be 28 so what happens if you do a normal breadth first or depth first then you will take this one then this one like this depth first in breadth first you go towards the depth but in best first what we do we see that which node now is giving us as the best possibility that is the best lower bound for traveling salesman cycle it means it has more possibility of getting us a good result 
because here I know whatever traveling salesman cycle will be after searching all this part of the tree will be at least 55 but here it will be 28 so we search the minimum node where the minimum lower bound is there but the, again the million dollar question is how will you find that lower bound so there we have a concept of reduced cost matrix 